the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, an English lesson for the advanced student. This is part three, and our focus now is grammar skills. Task three, understanding verb tenses. Can you recognize a shift in time frame through the use of verb tenses? Read each passage and identify the points at which the time frame shifts, for example, from past to present, from future to present, etc. Here's an example. I'm going to model how I'd like you to identify a shift in time frame. I think the creators of the show knew, even before August 8th, that they had created a spectacular event that the world would talk about for generations to come. The fact is that China, with its exhaustive use of resources and high level of organization, has raised the bar for all other host cities in the future. I'm going to go back to the beginning and look at the first verb, think. This is present tense. Next verb, new. Here's my first shift in time frame. I moved from present to past. Knew, even before August 8th, that they had created. This is still in the past. A spectacular event that the world would talk about for generations to come. Still in a past time frame. The fact is, now we've shifted back to the present that China, with its exhaustive use of resources and high level of organization, has raised the bar for all other host cities in the future. Has raised is still a present tense. So in this passage we only have two shifts in time frames. We go from present to past and past back to present. Understand? I hope you do, because understanding what time frame you're in will help you choose your verb tenses. Now I'd like you to try one by yourself. Passage 1. On August 8th, thousands of lucky people crowded into the Beijing National Stadium, the Bird's Nest, and watched the largest and most expensive opening ceremony ever. Everyone knows that China has the largest population, and the opening ceremony reflected this. It was breathtaking to see over 15,000 people perform together with such skill and artistry. Have you identified how many shifts and time frames there are? There are two. We go from past to present and present back to past. Let's try another passage. Passage 2. One thing is for sure, London has a tough act to follow as the host city of the 2012 Olympic Games. Everyone will compare the opening ceremony to the one they saw in Beijing. How many shifts are there in time? Have you identified them? Again, I see two. We go from present to future and future to past. Now I'd like to note that with the second verb, has, it wouldn't be incorrect to change it to a future tense. London will have a tough act to follow. But I was the speaker and it was my opinion that London has likely already begun to plan for the 2012 Olympic Games so they probably understand the challenge they have so they know that they have a tough act to follow. So I chose to use the present tense. Alright, let's move on to task 4, using verb tenses. Watch and listen to Jennifer talk about the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. Pay attention to the use of verb tenses. I'm so happy to have a DVR. I don't have a lot of time to watch TV, so the DVR allows me to record programs I don't want to miss, like the Olympics. This month, millions of people around the world turned their attention to Beijing, China and watched the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. There were many memorable moments for the athletes, but to be honest, the event that made the strongest impression on me was the opening ceremony. 
I think the creators of the show knew, even before August 8th, that they had created a spectacular event that the world would talk about for generations to come. The fact is that China, with its exhaustive use of resources and high level of organization, has raised the bar for all other host cities in the future. On August 8th, thousands of lucky people crowded into the Beijing National Stadium, the Bird's Nest, and watched the largest and most expensive opening ceremony ever. Everyone knows that China has the largest population in the world, and the opening ceremony reflected this. It was simply breathtaking to see over 15,000 people perform together with such artistry and skill. No one in the stadium or watching at home had ever seen a combination of technology and artistry on this scale. 2,008 drummers with drums that lit up. a large LED paper scroll that appeared to unroll over the stadium floor. Dozens of dancers in exquisite costumes. One thing is for sure, London has a tough act to follow in the 2012 Olympic Games. Everyone will compare the opening ceremony to the one they saw in Beijing, China. Task 5. Using verb tenses. Choose the correct verb tense to complete the question. Then answer the question. You can answer orally or in writing. Here's an example. Express a regularly performed action throughout time. Should we then choose the simple present tense or the future? It would be best to choose the simple present tense, so the question is, do you make a point of watching the Olympic Games every four years? A possible answer is, yes, I always make a point of watching the Olympic Games. Your turn. Question 1. Express an action completed in the past. The question is, did you watch the 2008 Summer Olympic Games? What's your answer? Question 2. Express a prediction. The question is, do you think that future host cities will spend as much money as China did on the opening ceremony? What's your answer? Question 3. Express a prediction you made for the future at a past point in time. The question is, when you were a child, did you ever think you would play a sport at the professional level? Tell me your answer. Question 4. Express an action that began in the past and continues in the present. The question is, do you think London has begun to prepare for the 2012 Games? If so, how? Please answer the question. End of lesson.